And there is still so much we don't know about this Trayvon Martin case from the Stand Your Ground law to who should be investigating. We're joined by WGY legal analyst Paul Harding of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Kelly. How are you? Good. Let's start with this uh, Stand Your Ground law. What exactly is that law? Well, the Stand Your Ground law is a law which uh, we, in fact, do not have in New York, but there are about 15 states do, including Florida. And it really says that if you're in a situation and you believe that uh, someone is going to cause you serious bodily harm or death, you do not have a duty to retreat, meaning you can stay there, stand your ground, and as what's sort of unfolding here, use lethal force. So meet force with force, basically. It's... Yes. Now, does this... We're in Florida, do you suspect, in other states, were there laws already on the books allowing you to do that in your own home or on your own property? Well, you know, there's a... There's another whole section, which the majority of the country has what they call the castle law. You know, man's home is his castle. And if somebody is entering the home and you have a reasonable belief that they're going to cause serious bodily harm or death, you do not have a duty to retreat in those states. You can use deadly force. And that's probably more what, what people are accustomed to hearing about. This, this standard ground law on the street, you know, is something that's just nothing that we are accustomed to in New York. New York doesn't even have a castle law. I was going to ask have, you that, yeah. What, what's yeah, the rule have, in New York if somebody breaks into your house? Yeah, we have no law in the books, but what, what they do is they say that if you, have a, if you can retreat safely, then you have an obligation to do that. Hmm. Uh, but the case law, which I did look at prior to, to the interview uh, yesterday, I, I, it sort of lends itself to there is no law specifically upholding the castle law. There's a general proposition if someone's coming in your house and you feel they're going to cause you a serious bodily harm or uh, imminent death, you can use deadly force. Again, no law in the books, but the case law has been generally supportive of the castle laws, which the majority of the states do have. Now, in this Martin case, they were not on his property. And in terms of the stand your ground law, is there a difference between not retreating and being an aggressor? Absolutely. You know, you, you, if, you, if there's provocation involved, I mean, you can't provoke someone, have them come at you, and then use lethal force, even in Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, the theory here is that, uh, that this uh, neighborhood watch uh, person, Zimmerman, was in fact uh, minding his own business, uh, and then he was attacked and felt that uh, this guy was going to cause him a lot of problems, and he did not have a duty to run away. Uh, did not have a duty to go seek protection somewhere else. He's standing behind uh, the uh, the law that says I can stay here even if it's in the street, and in this case use lethal force. So in this case, actually, the stand your ground law would have protected Trayvon Martin, depending on who how, how those <laughs> incidents how those yeah. series of incidents unfolded. Right. Yeah. Once we get to yeah, if in fact it could be perceived as that Zimmerman provoked him in some way, mm -hmm. right? Is that what you're saying? And then, of course, the underlying subtext here is that uh, they're saying that that would never have been enforced, it never would have been looked mm -hmm. at had the situation been reversed. Hence, we have this national uh, discussion on, on this case. Real Back quickly, we have less than a minute left. Uh, as far as, like, you know, there's a big, the, one of the big issues here is, you know, who's going to prosecute or investigate the case. Um, you know, there's obviously an investigation going on locally, and I, I assume the feds can jump in whenever they want. What about, like, a state? When can a state get involved, and can a state, like, just decide to take over the investigation and bypass the local people? Yeah, what's happening here is the local folks are kind of looking at this as too hot to handle, mm -hmm. and they are just happy to get the state attorney general involved and the state attorney general is, in fact, investigating this. And uh, they, they initially looked at it and said, well, we don't see anything here. But it, it, at this point, the state, the way that it looks like it's going to unfold, is going to be taking a closer, hotter look at this. And I, I think the local folks are just trying to, to just uh, remove themselves from the, the prosecution or lack thereof. All right. Thank you, Paul, for shedding some light on this. Paul Harding of Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010. Paul, thank you. All right.